What is up, you guys? I'm Farah, and today we're reacting to episode 7 of Cyberpunk. Last episode was actually quite emotional for me because we saw Maine kind of go into full cyber psychosis and end up killing Dorio, and we don't even know where the fuck Falco or um, Kiwi are. I don't know where they are, but I hope they're okay. I don't know if they were in the same building. Hopefully not. But I'm just, like, stressed out, and I'm really scared for David mental health and essentially the secret that made lucy act the way that she did anyways if you guys would like to see my full timer or my full opacity reactions make sure to go check them down below on the patreon in the description and without further ado let's get into it y'all <laughs> okay david is not well what is this fit change He looks like a copy of David. What is this in the future? Yeah, David looked chrome the fuck up. I'm really scared. Shut up, kid. He said your bottom frag. Oh, hello. Okay, so now we're in the future. Where the fuck is Lucy though? I'm stressed out. <sighs> Hi, Kiwi. Where the fuck is L Lucy? Julio, shut the fuck up. Why the fuck is David wearing two belts, dog? You better stop before I do the same. Yeah! Why? Why didn't you just go from the back, you dumb fuck? A millisec to spare, Mr. Plan C. This girl is psycho. Oh, he's literally using Maine's hands. She's fucking creepy. Kiwi. <laughs> Literally, is he here to thank you? Please. I appreciate you. Okay, Thanos wannabe. Not the fucking traps on this boy. Does he have a San Devis 10 too? <gasps> David, David, David! Oh, now he has something on his leg too. Jesus Christ. Fucking idiot. Isabella Morgan, you in here? We're here to save you, Queen. Also, he's helping. You safely secured the target. I fear our clients will be pleased that Isabella was safe, not not butchered like cattle. Just did my part. Yes, most impressive. Sorry about Julio. No, no, do not apologize. Fool insisted on the work with you. Not ready, I said. Any new lead I get, we will be in touch, David. Yeah, good doing biz. Yeah, good doing biz. He's so cash. He's like the new main, but like more intense and cool. Now he's the new main. I'm really scared. Dependable wheelmen are hard to find. Oh, not sure about that. You gathered yourself quite the fan club. Oh, Julio, you mean? Knew that goose was bluffing the moment we met. Land better talent if we were all vets. Not everyone's like main. I have to admit, when I got the call, I took you for a pushy punk wannabe. Aww. You were. But now, well, it's 
expect you'll fly higher than Maine ever did. Right. Then a raw I'm really wishing for David to stop chroming up, please. Where the fuck is Lucy? What? Never pegged her as the type to get all shook up. Asking her what she saw? More on what happened to Maine and Dorios at play, I think. At the warehouse, Lucy was acting, I don't know. She still hasn't fessed up about what happened? No. Hard to say. Whole thing's kind of a blur. It might have been nothing. It's definitely not nothing. By the way, wasn't it you who brought Lucy on board, found her a spot in the crew? That's right. You like ever talked to you about her past or anything? Most of the saps in our league don't bring up the old days. Whether you're looking for a way out or a way up. Doesn't matter. Of course it matters. Yo, yo, yo! David, five more and baby! Snagging all that, keeping you up the damn floor! Although some edge runners die in more shame than they started with. <laughs> oh, it ain't right to bat mouth the dead. Rose thought he got zeroed by some bare dick psycho. Oh, what have you ever seen David dance? Sounds preem, but think I'm gonna bounce. <gasps> Gotta stop by docks. Seriously? Again? Then tell that bastard you desperately need a damn tip! <laughs> Oh, she wants him so bad. He's already with Lucy. What do you want? He just wants Maine's one. Literally. No, you're not doing just fine, David. Enough. Enough. I feel better in metal than in my own skin. Well, your affinity for cyberware is fucking nuts. I'll grant you that. Lots of other peeps would have cracked by now. Believe yourself to be special. Just be special, I guess. You're getting too cocky. You're getting too cocky, David. The guy that turned cyber psycho. Graveyards on Asaka's orders. An urban myth, that's all. Kiwi. What? What's up? Afterlife. Stop by. Can you come? Party's rolling. Part of our. Party now. No, no. Possible client. David. Yo. What's up, Kiwi? Good luck. Good luck. Oh, it's Faraday. First we've met, Mr. Martinez. Not exactly. Saw you swing by once to talk to me. Indeed. Well, it's a pleasure. It's not a pleasure. Fuck you, bitch. Ew. You're building quite the reputation. The San Devastan from Santo is one name I've heard. Got more than just the Sandy now. True. It's difficult to spy the Ganic amidst all that steel. Maine and I had an arrangement. Essentially, you're telling them you're chrome the fuck up. Enough. He understood the need for crew chemistry. Yeah. But as you saw, his flaw was impersonal attachment. Familiarity muddies the mind, leads to ruin. I hear you're also a team builder. Keep biz and private separate. That's what you mean. I need convincing that you can work at Maine's level. Deliver as he did. Why does he need to convince shit to you? Welcome to think of it that way. Test all you want. We don't do jobs on the cheap. I assure you, nothing from my desk is cheap. A job for Militech. Mm. Megacorps offer the most lucrative contracts. That's no they already killed our Saka's fucking head. What more do you want, bro? Not at all. That's what I like to hear. There's a contract. Should seem familiar. You talking about Tanaka, the data heist gig? I received a report that Tanaka possessed no relevant data. Yeah. But I also learned how you managed to pierce Arasaka's ice. A new netrunner on the crew cracked it, and without Kiwi's help. Correct. Our crew has had some luck with runners lately. Excellent. However, I hear she's gone dark. Yeah, been taking a break since that gig. But why? Such a waste of talent, potential. Okay, so what? It's not your business! I suggest you give her a nudge in the right direction. Easier said than done. But Harasaka knows Militech's after him. Ain't that right? Them and everyone else. 
Ops. So what's Militech after that they'd risk such a ballsy move? That is for me to know. It is certain. Oh my god. I don't want to keep hearing that bullshit again. Learn anything new that might help us? I'm afraid not. But good things come to those who act. First, prove you're worth my time. You're annoying. You're literally don't take the job. It's too dangerous for him, bro. Oh, look at your house. Bougie house. Your home. Oh, they live together? Pretty late. Got a little caught up. Aw, picture with him and his mom. Mm -hmm. Any hiccups today? We did lose someone. Yeah, rookie solo. We're cockos. But everything else went all right? Nothing tricky. Kid just got excited. Now, why does that sound familiar? Watch. <laughs> Sounds like fun. Have you considered coming back to the crew? Two Netrunners on one team sounds like a crowd. Lucy, we Lucy come on. I'd always rather have you Please around. Please, David. I just need a little more time. What did she see? What did you see? Mm -hmm. Buy a runner suit, why don't you? Don't need one. Should get you a new chair at least. That ice bath can't be comfy. Thanks. I never liked chairs. Suits. Oh, sorry. Didn't know that. <laughs> David. Come on. What? They romantic as fuck. I love them. They're so cute. Whoa, look at all those stars. Can't get a view like this in the city. <laughs> Maybe I'll catch one. I think she found out the secret as to why he's so good with it. Wish the moon was out. Like so good with Chrome. Stars better brighter when it stays away. Really? Really, really. The moon outshines them. Man, are you sure you went to Arasaka Academy? You dropped out, remember? You know, I've never been outside the city before. Is that right? But you have? Had a life outside Night City once? Looks like a prison from here. A cage of light. Maybe a little bit. Considering your histories. I might not remember. Hmm? Said once you and I were worlds apart. Yeah. What did you mean by that? Rather not say. Why doesn't she ever want to talk? What is this? Rather not hear. It's just, I'd like to know more about you. What a sweet baby. Arasaka. I was born in another country. Oh! Oh! of us kids who passed a proficiency test were tagged to become net runners what kids who wouldn't be missed anywhere else will serve the world's most powerful megacorp one day that dream god asuba taught to stay is the toughest training it's the dream you were given the dream you never questioned jesus christ you were fucking born to be a soldier we expected corp assignments the world over instead they moved us underground day in day out they forced us to Oh my god. Wait, the old net? That's so scary. That whole system collapsed something like 50 years ago, didn't it? Brought down by history's greatest net runner. He was a true savant, super hacker, legend Rage Bart Moss. He got corrupted like 78% of the global net in a single day. Data crash virus, shattered cyberspace, broke the net into a But what happened to the other 22%? Connection severed, data lost. It was chaos. Arasaka's purpose lies somewhere in the old net. They're searching for legacy info, lost knowledge. All of us kids, we were soldiers sent into a nest of daemons and feral AIs. Jesus Christ. Advanced runner can interface using their whole mind. Deep dive. It gives shape and form to cyberspace, a way to traverse it. Whenever we uncovered any rare data cache, <gasps> rogue AIs would find us and swarm. We were picked off one by one. Oh my God. before there were only a handful of us left. We were chasing someone else's dream, throwing down our lives to do it. So we realized, if we're gone, why not die chasing our own dream? The tech staff didn't stand a chance, not in the face of the skills they'd taught us. So she hides her thing on her head because it wasn't I done by her. Heard shots. My friend screams, but I never looked back. Next clear Lucy. Moment. no place like night city if you want to hide still feel like they're chasing you not really i guess maybe i've just grown too comfortable here or maybe i've grown used to being scared your hand <gasps> no it'll be fine in a sec haven't changed have you still chasing someone else's dream <laughs> it's not like i don't understand just that that things are different now can't be afraid for myself anymore oh she's afraid for him Most of the data, though the vital 
Bell's file for one of the test subjects was completely corrupted. Yes, manipulated deliberately. What? No, this level of precision. Well, there's only a handful of net runners capable of it. No, I don't believe that. My assumption is system was breached when he was captured. Understood. I'll do what I can to restore it. Did she completely fuck up his uh his thing about um his like data on David? And so now they're trying to recover it again and figuring out why. That's Lucy. That's obviously Lucy. Is she essentially running after people who are trying to uncover David's secret? Like she's trying to protect him? Is that what's happening right now? Because that that's what it feels like. Because she's completely sentient and like completely in power. And I know she is. So that's why she can't do jobs is because she's too busy doing that. Is that what's happening, you guys? Because I'm about to fucking lose it. And now she's not even chasing her dream. She's chasing to protect someone else. What a fucking sad life this is. Oh, I'm actually so depressed. This is so fucking sad. This is so fucking sad, dude. Thank you guys so much for watching today's episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys next time for another one. Bye bye.